So you can put a coin in this machine and get a car? That sounds like a good deal to me. What happens if the car gets sucked though? Do you have to get another car to push out the first one? I'm not sure if car insurance covers that. Wait, is this thing in pesos? No, it's just Supreme and everything is overpriced. Imagine just spending $1,000 on Reese's just because it's Supreme. Boy, that's Gucci. What? Oh, my head hurts. Why does this exist? Who's buying this? And why is there so many of it? And why are so many people buying it? Spending machine is what happens if inflation happens, I think. It's the future and it ain't pretty. What? Get ice cream. I want that robot. Can he cook all my meals? That'd be awesome. Ooh, does he do laundry too? Seriously, where do I get one of these? Or can I get 10 of them? Oh, I honestly, the ice cream looks pretty good. I'll take the ice cream instead. I said that and I saw it and I was like, it changed my mind, I want the ice cream. But look at that smile, he's so cute. It's the perfect swirl. He does a little dance too. Oh, you wait, Japan has rice vending machines? A rice vending machine? So economical and smart. This is reduced, reuse, recycle at its finest. Not gonna lie though. I was hoping he was gonna cook the rice too, but no. He has to go do that himself. It just gives you uncooked rice. Wait, what? Money vending machine? How does this even work? Huh? Is it fake money? But I wanted a candy bar. What a ripoff. Okay, this is totally not practical, but it is cool. For a second, I thought there was like just some guy filling it up at the back, but this whole vending machine is made out of cardboard and rubber bands. It's cool because even if there's a power outage, the vending machine always works. Except, I guess, if you get it wet or blow on it or hit it or get a box cutter out. Speaking of box cutter, it's really a box cutter away from being completely empty. Let's face it, humans suck. We have no honor system. I'm surprised it's still standing. Maybe they haven't even opened it yet to the public. That's the only possible way this still exists. Whoa, have you seen the prices of those slices? I totally rhymed there. Nearly $9 a slice? I feel like I could buy a whole cake for that money. But honestly, worth every penny. These are cakes by Cake Boss. The vending machine is boss. If you need me, I'll be in Vegas playing the cake machine. You win every time. I really like these odds. Whoa, it's so pretty. Okay, for a second I thought it was gonna be a vending machine for Tiffany's jewelry, but it's actually a perfume vending machine inside a Tiffany store. Can you imagine if it was a jewelry vending machine though and someone asks you to marry him and he tells you he bought your ring out of a vending machine and they say romance is dead. Hmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, I get it. It's like if the world was backwards. I was low-key hoping he'd eat the dollar bill. That would be awesome. This existed for like empty soda cans. You get money for recycling. A dollar for an empty can. Yes, please. Another unusual vending machine. This time Kylie Cosmetics. Where is this? Oh, Vegas, obviously. They seem to have all the cool stuff, but that's expensive for a product. You can't even try or test the colors out. Is it not? Wait a sec, TikTok has a vending machine and a motel, and most importantly, free snacks. Where is this magical place and why has no one told me about it before? You know what's to be magical? Vending machine full of Asian and merch. So go check it out, link in the description. Oh, so it's kind of like a vending machine. You go to Asian.com, press the product you want, and boom, you get it in seven business days. A snowball vending machine? Huh? Free made Sobo? Oh man, Sobo wars are going down. <laughs> I love the line. This was created by a Minnesota company to show you can sell pretty much anything if marketed properly. Yes, it's true. It's completely true. I literally want 10 of these immediately. Their branding is on point. Oh, some next level vending machine stuff going on here. Pizza vending machine? Where? I must try this and even better, there are over 20 locations in Canada? That's it. I, 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 I need to go. Well, apparently someone hates their job. Literally, putting everything in back. Backwards. Did that bottle just bounce back inside? Maybe it was spring water. Okay. Wait, what? A vending machine that gives you laptops? You can't keep the laptop though. I guess it's like for rent only. What happens if you're bored and never return it? Do they take it out of your tuition? Fine you? Stop you from graduating? I must know. Let me know if you have these in your school. Sticker machines sure have changed since I was a kid. They used to give up rainbows and teddy bears and unicorns. Now you can get Pennywise tattoo. Is there raining on the sticker machine? Who knew that PG-13 sticker vending machines? Oh, and there's Elsa. I didn't know Frozen was considered a horror movie. Makes sense if you think about it. Now this vending machine comes with a human inside of it to give you that personal touch. Loki, this is how I thought all vending machines worked when I was a kid. The girl surprisingly is calm for some random person opening a door and stopping a scoop of ice cream on her cone. I never run away screaming. She'll be collecting horror stickers in no time. Obviously guys, it's not a real vending machine. It's probably for some prank show or something. Honestly, this world is in such a better place now that I know pizza vending machines exist. Whoever invented these things, I salute you. Although I gotta say, this pizza, it's just not the same as the last one. Look, it just doesn't look as good. This one looks like lasagna. If I had to pick a deck, I'd have to go with the last pizza vending machine. Honestly, I think I would stick with veggie pizza though out of a vending machine because I wouldn't risk it. 
Wait, what? See, I knew it. Well, so how does someone get this job? Not sure what you put on a resume, but I think it's actually kind of cool. Just let them see your face. You don't want to ruin the illusion. Otherwise, I'll end up some like weird Wizard of Oz thing. Pay no attention to the man inside the vending machine. Oh, I've seen these vending machines in Japan. I actually saw these in person. Not a fan of bugs. I don't know that I'd want to get one from a vending machine, but hey, to each their own. No matter how awesome the vending machine is, like I'm just not down. It definitely catches your eye though. If it was me, I'd probably have screamed seeing all those big bugs before realizing they were fake. Oh, another cool thing. In Japan, like they had these like mystery boxes with like things written on them, like stories, and then like you could open it and get, and then everything would have something random and weird in it. But it was kind of sketchy because it was just random people who would package them, and I'm like, I don't really want something that a stranger has put in a package. I'm not about that many risks. I'm not about that. Okay, I know I was hating, but this is kind of cool. I wasn't expecting it to move. A champagne vending machine. Sometimes you just need some bubbly in your life, and even better, the token was free at the hotel front lobby. Where is this place again? I need a vacation. I think I've seen everything now though. How often do they have to change out the items in the machine though? When you can't keep live worms efficient there indefinitely. What do you do if it gets stuck? Can you imagine hitting the side of the machine to make your purchase fall and everything breaks open and there's fish and worms everywhere like all over the inside of the machine and outside? Can you imagine the smell? Oh, who thought this was a good idea again? Okay, if this vending machine doesn't put a smile on their face, I don't know what will. I'd buy one even if I didn't need one. Just to see the vending machine at work. Like it could keep you entertained for hours. This is sick. Seriously, why isn't this everywhere? Guys, it's a vending machine cafe. I think this is actually in the Netherlands. Correct me if I'm wrong. I actually used to live in Amsterdam. So it's like a whole like fast food restaurant and so there's vending machine. Food isn't that great, if I'll be honest, but it's still kind of cool. It's kind of like convenience store food heaven. Oh, this is called Chef in the Box. So I guess it's just different branding, same thing. Well, okay, this one's actually a convenience store, so it's not a restaurant. Here they're like slicing the lemons for you. That's pretty sick. It wasn't even lemons, it was oranges, and I'm making orange juice. Okay, it's pretty tight. This is brilliant. Not just because who doesn't love Skittles, but because this is the way Skittles should be done. Like who hasn't eaten a bag of Skittles by color? And you save your favorite color for last. Now imagine being able to get a whole scoop of your favorite colors. This is perfect. perfect. Maybe a nightmare for my dentist, but perfect for me. I love this. You can choose what color to eat at what time without the hassle of separating them. Oh man. I love it. This is a toilet paper vending machine. I have a question now. Chicken and egg question, if you may. Which came first, the toilet paper vending machine or the pandemic? I feel like it could go either way. This doesn't seem super hygienic, like the way the TPs like spit out of the machine. And yet, it was created before the pandemic, apparently. I don't even think that the machine would have made it out of 2020 alive. Someone would have busted into it by before then, like for sure. Okay, I would buy a ton of cotton candy to watch this thing spin sugar all day long. Seriously. Can I get one from my house and like plug it in and let it do its thing? It just draws you in. You can't look away. But on second thought, maybe I shouldn't get one of these. I'd never get anything done. Whoa, see, isn't it mesmerizing? Obsessed. Okay, this is the perfect vending machine for when you're running late for work. Hope you can find a tie that matches your outfit though. Once you pop, you can't stop. A Pringles vending machine. Now you don't have to stop. Just keep feeding coins in and spinning the tile. There'll be tons of chips to see how this machine works. Who's with you? Just to see how it looks. No other reason. Get set to jet set. What? Oh, okay. I thought it was like to get a plane ticket, but it's anything you might have forgotten. Toilet tree. Chargers, pretty much anything. It's pretty handy dandy. Great stuff for last minute gifts too. In Korea, when K-pop groups have their comebacks, some of them offer a lucky draw with their album. A lucky draw is basically getting additional photo cards with the album. They're also limited edition exclusive to Korea. So this is like a promotional thing that K-pop groups do as their comeback. Fans buy photo cards and you can also get them at vending machines. How many albums does she buy? There's so many. That's like several weeks allowance there. We've heard like college educational fun. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye!